Meter configuration. Today we're going to be setting up an external meter. So before we do anything, we'll turn off that one zero toggle, let our DC voltage bleed down, open up the case and access the menus. Long hold on enter, release before the countdown completes, and then enter in the password 123, 12312. Once we get into the menus, we'll use the down button to scroll down to communication and hit enter. We'll scroll down again until we get to RS-485-1, hit enter. We're set to multi-device, good. Then we'll scroll down to meter two for our external meter. We'll set the device type to revenue meter. After the dialog finishes up, we'll have our settings. For our protocol, we want it to be watt node, device ID is two, and we can see that our meter is communicating because the CT rating is changed from zero to five. We'll need to set the CT rating based on the labels on our CTs. In this case, we've got a 200 amp CT. So we'll use the down arrow to change that five to a two and input 200. Enter moves you forward, escape moves you back and a long hold on enter to confirm. Our CT rating is set. Next, we'll need to set meter function. We're going to be setting this up for export and import, but we'll quickly scroll through all of our options here just to show you. Our CTs are placed in between the house and the grid. CTs are facing the grid. So we'll be setting it up for export and import. And then just a quick scroll through to make sure all of our settings are correct. After we verified all of our settings, we'll want to replace the cover, bring the inverter back up into production, and then go to the import and export meter status screens to verify all measurements are correct. To scroll through the status screens, just tap that green button underneath the screen, verify everything checks out and that we've got OKs on both meters. And then verify on your meter itself that the CT lights are blinking green and that we've got a green meter comm light. Thanks for joining us in the Solar Edge Learning Lab.